Hi, I am Karthik Bajaj. I was born in Haryana and I am currently working as a senior software engineer in Adobe. Uh, so the first time I was introduced to a computer, it was a plain desktop, the one basically that you assemble kind of thing. It's a very, very generic model. And I was open to so many possibilities that are present that uh, you can do so much things from a computer itself. And that's when I thought that this is somewhere I would like to go. So when you are right out of college, it's a completely different thing. Uh, whatever you have studied in those four years, it's a very, very little part that's been used in the you know real life jobs. And my first job was a professional services consultant. It's a semi-tech job where uh, we weren't exactly coding or doing development. I didn't want to end up in a stagnant job. I didn't want to be where in every four or five years, I'm going to do the same stuff. And I asked myself that, will I be happy doing this in the next five years or next 10 years down the line? And the answer was a definite no. It was a kind of 180 degree switch from non-tech to completely tech sector. So I looked into some tutorials online. In online, it's basically 10, 100 dots spread across, but you don't know how to connect them. You lack a particular mentorship, you lack a particular path. I had a talk with the co-founder Sridhar as well. He recommended the back-end track. I thought, let's go with it because uh, he's obviously the person who's familiar with that field. He's guiding so many students. Uh, so then I enrolled into the Cryo back-end development program. So it was all project-based learning or learn by uh, doing learning. There I got introduced to concepts not just that were competitive coding, not just doing three questions of C++ or Java on a platform, but rather doing project-wise. It's not just coding that, but a step-by-step -step approach of how to make it better as well. I, you know, there's no technology company that strives on just being stagnant. It keeps on involving, keeps on involving on the problems that they are faced, on the scalability that is an issue. It's always an evolving sector and that's how the project was also there, evolving on the needs. One more thing about the programs was that the peer groups we were in. So the classes were not one on one, but they were live sessions with uh, a batch of 20, 30 people across. Very strong point to have a good peer group. You bounce ideas off them, you bounce solutions off them. I remember teachers, they are basically my age, uh, what, 22, 24 or something, working as an SD23 in a good reputed firm. Uh, it's quite inspirational to see people of our age guiding people. That kind of helped out and here I am as well. So after you're done with all the data structures and project sprints, we finally have the interview preparation. They, you know, scan through your resume, scan through your online profiles, help you perfect them and help you with the inter interview process as well. Conduct mock interviews and that also with the peer groups, with the mentors, so you know your strengths and weaknesses and you can work upon it. There were interviews lined up for Zivame as well and we also had a cryo alumni in that particular company network or a person to contact to that how is how good is this company and how will it enhance your growth. The rounds completed, the HR round went well and I got a nearly 50-60% hike. After uh, nearly six months in Zivame, I had an opportunity to interview with Adobe. I thought it's uh, like a one it's in a lighter kind of thing, a company's reaching out, so let's go ahead with it. So I told them about the projects I did in Cryo as well, the projects I did in Zivame. The interviews went well and I cleared that as well. I think I got a 300% approximately hike. It's been great because right now if I ask myself the same questions, will I want to be in the same sector in the next five years, then the answer is now happily a yes. So I've been in Adobe for the last six months. I look forward to working every day because I get to work on something that I am actually happy about. I am constantly developing, constantly innovating. That's what technology should be about, making real impact on people's lives.